This is Ron with Mobile Fix Automotive. Quick dip video, 2002 Toyota Avalon V6. Uh, I'm shooting this video for the customer so that they can see what I did to correct this problem. I'm not going to do a step-by-step -step repair on this uh, due to time. It's already super late in the day and I need to uh, get this put back together. But before I reassemble the vehicle, I wanna show the customer and anybody else that wants to watch this uh, what I've basically done so what the problem with this car was and uh, apparently this has been to multiple Toyota dealerships and they haven't been able to figure it out and uh, I've had it for about three days and I've tinkered with it for all of about uh, six hours I think I got wrapped up in it and I finally got this thing pinpointed well what the problem turns out to be let's do the symptom first okay the symptom is that when you start the car there's no air conditioning no dash no gauges power windows not working okay and then intermittently they'll just come on well after looking at the power chart, I noticed that, oh, the other thing is, is that when they did come on, if you use the turn signal, they would, everything would go dead. So that's what we had. Uh, when the gauges worked, as soon as you hit the turn signal, everything would go dead. So the first thing I did was figured I'm going to troubleshoot the turn signal switch because whatever's interrupting the power to the turn signals is probably interrupting the power to the dashboard as well since everything seems to follow each other. So what I basically came across, okay, I'm gonna do this a little bit easier. So basically what I came across is I started troubleshooting from the ground up. Now one of the other things that wasn't working is the alternator was not charging. So what I did was I went in and I printed a schematic Okay, of basically the, the part of the system that I needed. And if you notice right here, the generator, the hazard switch, the wipers, the air conditioning system, and the backup light, power seat, all of this stuff, including the dashboard, which runs off of ignition number one relay, which is right here. Ignition number one relay. All of this stuff all feeds off of ignition number one relay. Okay, so what I needed to do is figure out where the heck ignition number one relay was because the other relays are all fairly easy to get to underneath the hood and in the main dash. Let me show you where this sucker's located and watch us fix it. Okay, so what I've done is I have pulled the lower kick panel out of the dash I have removed the metal knee bolster out and I have removed there are two air ducts that one and that one that were under here one of them is in behind here so I pulled this panel out with a pried it out with a screwdriver okay and then here is the main fuse box. Now, the relay is actually behind this main fuse box. Now, I got the car running right now. You can see that the park light is on, the door open sign is on, but all the gauges are dead. Okay, so the relay in question on this particular vehicle is this blue relay, relay right here. Okay, so right in front of it is this brown block with two little black pieces in it. Those are actually um, sound isolators for the electrical system, noise cancelers. So if you find this block, you can go straight down to the blue relay. Now, if I take this blue relay and I pull it out and I pick up the brand new... Denso relay 567-0015 which has the exact same footing as the one I have 
and I go and I put this thing back down in here, it only goes in one way. Look at that. Oh, hey, air conditioning came on. <laughs> all right, now we got the center clusters on, air conditioning's on, everything's happy. Now, I did loosen the fuse box. There was a 10 millimeter bolt right back in here, and there's a 10 millimeter nut back in here that I used to pull, pry this so I could move it down enough to be able to pry this thing up. I know it's a little dark in here, but this this air duct actually goes in here. So if you guys are having problems with your Toyota Avalons, I'm not sure how many chassis this is going to go across. If anybody else is watching this other than the customer and you have a dead dashboard um, hey my power windows are working again look so if your power windows are going in and out your alternator is not charging um, dash was dead turn signals were dead turn signals are working again and not shorting everything out um, then I would change the ignition number one relay and this is where it's located. It's located behind and above the main fuse box in the kick panel here and you can access it through the, um, the AC duct panel right here on the left hand side. So good luck to you. Hopefully this will help you guys out. Subscribe, like the video and uh, I'll keep knocking these things out for you. Good luck to you. Bye-bye.